Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be doing part two of the art journal plus quotes we started two videos ago. I'll link that video in the description, but let's get right into this video. So starting off with the book, we did the front cover and the first set of pages in the previous video. In this video, we're going to be doing this page. Here we're going to be doing something new, we're going to tape the edges first, and we're going to be doing a photography based page. So here I have a frame, I'm going to be putting the measurements here, I'm going to be placing this frame all around the page, and I'm going to trace it and put paintings or make paintings inside. And then on the other side, we're of course going to do quotes. In this next page, in the next video, I'm going to be doing a painting. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and be ready. So here I've got my tape. I'm going to cut it in half because it's thick. And then I'm going to stick it all over the four sides. After you're done doing this, you can get the Polaroid frame that we made before. And you can place it. I'm going to be doing five. I'm going to be placing one here and then rotate it all around 360 degrees. So let's get right into that. There's something that I would like to say. You can overlap the frames or you could just leave it like it is. It's your choice. So you guys can see I overlapped all the five frames. Now I'm going to choose which one I want to start with. The one I choose has to be the one at the very bottom. The one you want to be at the very top, you would want to do that at last. So I chose that this one at the bottom side of the page, so I flipped the book. This bottom side of the page is going to be my first one. So I'm going to stick tape on all three sides so it doesn't move. And then you can take paint and you can paint anything in it. It doesn't have to be paint, you could use pencil color, you could use oil pastel. So here I've got a bunch of acrylic paint, I'm going. that's what I'm going to use. And then I've got two different sizes and brushes and a palette. So the brushes I got is a Filbert brush. I don't exactly know the number, but it's between three to four. And then I've got a round, not a round brush, a liner, number two, number one actually. And then it's very thin for the details. So now I'm going to start out by making my first painting. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial on how to make these paintings, you can definitely comment it down below. I'll put, I'll make it as a quick video in the upcoming weeks. So as you guys can see, I've skipped. I've made two more paintings. Now I'm starting on my fourth one. Here I made a galaxy looking one and the last one I'm going to make it very simple and once that drying once that's drying I am going to be putting black in the empty spots that we don't have frames in So once you fill it in with black the painting is almost done now I'm removing all the tape and then you might have some color on the border you can fix that by putting white paint there and if you have any other border in the frame, you can also use white paint. After that, we're going to be using a marker to outline all the frames so we know the difference. So here I've given an example. We're going to outline it only on the side where it merges. So it's going to be pretty easy to do. So this is the end result. I finished all the outlining. So the painting part is done. Now it's time to move on to the quote. So this time I'm going to choose a quote also based on photography. It will be, we take photos as a return ticket to a memory otherwise gone. And now I'm going to go over it with black marker. Once you're done, we've completed this page in our art journal. Good job, you guys, and I hope you like this video. Bye!